In this episode, I explain why clone decoys are an absolute beast of a secret weapon in your goose rig. Brad and Mel kick things off in the cold with two great spec and duck hunts. Mel falls short on his duck, so later that afternoon, I take his group out to clean up a duck limit. It wasn't business as usual though. While I tried to lure in some bonus snows, the specs were covering us up. Go figure. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. It's going really good. The guys are paying attention. They've never done it before, but they're doing a hell of a good job. Uh, we're just kind of on the last leg we're putting out. We got lots of time. We still got electronics to do, but uh, I don't think we'll have any trouble at all getting it done. So we, what we got is a great big uh, made body of white. We'll put a few more full bodies out here and bring on the birds, man. Hopefully we smash them up good today. We'll find out by about 7.30. We'll know. But uh, there's been a lot of birds in here. There's probably 15, 20,000 specks coming in here. A lot of ducks. So it's pretty exciting. We'll see what the morning brings. But I better get out of here. Well, we're almost set up. It's uh, it's a cold one this morning. It's frosty in the ground. It's probably, it's minus six or minus seven this morning. It's clear. We're running uh, a silo rig with uh, full bodies. We're hunting uh, ducks, specks, and snows this morning. Not a lot of snows, but enough for us to sit in white suits and uh, cover up in the white decoys. Lots of ducks, so our plan, game plan is Try to get a limit of ducks, limit of specks, and kill a few snows out here this morning. So, wind's a little lighter than what they said. We'll see. Hopefully it picks up a bit, because uh, right now it's not much. But yeah, I don't know. We're looking good, I think. I don't know. We'll let you know how it goes around 9.30. Get ready. Right here, guys. Wait and come. Wait. Wait, everyone pick a bird. Wait. Go guys, go, go, go. <laughs> everyone pick a bird, stay on them. Keep watching, pick your bird. Wait. Go, 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 go. Oh, all right. Wait, out front, out front, Frank. There we go. All right, little guy now. <laughs> Two o'clock, low. Get ready, ready. Go on him. Nice. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Go, guys. There we go, come on. This one's my control, guys. We want to coming around on our, right here, left. Okay, okay. Go, guys, go, go, go.
Any opportunity we're taking, we're not waiting for the big flock because they'll pick you up and then we're not gonna get nothing. From the left, get ready. Kill him, kill him! Kill him, guys, kill him, right in front. Get them all, get them all, there you go. Hey, hey, get these three, get these three. Shoot him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, watch these three. Yo. Hopefully the ducks are just starting. Okay, get down guys, there's more ducks floating around. Oh, ducks guys, ducks, get ready, get ready. Get ready. Kill them guys, kill them. Now we need our ducks to show up. Kill them, guys. That's not very good. Okay, these two, when they come back, get ready. And I want them right on top of you. Kill those two. Okay, get down, guys. We'll kill one more and we'll pick up. <coughs> this has to be fast, guys. Pick them up, put five behind every one of your hooches. But it's got to be quick or we'll miss duck. Just grab everything as quick as you can. This is my first time ever doing this and it was just awesome. And I was, I was happy, I shot really well and it was fun. I'd been to, down to Argentina before and I think I, I love this a lot more just because it's more of a game and more hunting. So it's good, I love it. All right, so um, interesting situation today. Mel is kind of coming up short with some ducks, really did on his geese. So I've got an option where I've got some snow geese, some specks, and some ducks. Now, not a lot, but I'm pretty sure if I set up, wait on those snows, those, those ducks will come before the snow goose flight. We should be able to clean up whatever we need there. So hopefully we'll get that done and you know take it from there. So see what happens. Go guys, go, 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 go. When these ducks come in guys, keep an eye on the lower ones. Those low ones are way closer. Go guys, go, 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 go. Pick your bird. Getting in behind us. I'll try to get him. <laughs> Go, somebody. Somebody pick. He's going. 
There you go. Went down, went down, went down. There we go. Good work, guys. Cleaned up our dust. Oh, the hunt was just unbelievable, fantastic. Got our speck of bellies first, uh, uh, and the duck started coming in about an hour later, and it was just unbelievable. Some of the best action I've had in a long time. Brad did a fantastic job, and uh, just unbelievable. So we had a good one this morning. We uh, got our duck limit, we got our speck limit, and we got, I don't know, a handful of snow, snow geese too. Um, we got a little more wind as the morning progressed. Sillows were moving. Oh, we looked good today. And uh, you could tell the ducks and the specks were all over us. All said and done though, we did well. We got our duck limit done and we got our speck limit. These guys got, uh, what do they got? A few darks to pick up in the afternoon and then maybe a snow goose hunt for them. So. Yeah, really good morning. They were, we were covered up right until 10 o'clock. So it's 10, 15 now, we're just picking up and we were covered up until we quit with ducks and speck. So they were liking us. Good morning. Really good. It was so cold the ducks didn't come out till late. So we'd, we'd crush the specks. They uh, bunched up in a field to the east to me about a mile, which I had permission on as well, but that's where my roost was. So when the ducks come out to feed, those specks were all piled up in there because we had put them there. So the ducks went in with the specks. We had flights early, we could have shot, but the geese were there, so you're trying to do that. We ended up only getting half our ducks, but that's that's cool because they can get them this afternoon. So, but it was conditions. Brad had the same thing go on. He he got luckier when he kicked his ducks. They started doing the spread, so he got his 32 ducks, but which is great. But yeah, not so not so great for us in that aspect. But the guys had a great time. We shot 50 birds. I mean, it's a heck of a good time. This morning was great. Killed a bunch of geese, a bunch of ducks, enjoyed a good hunt with a bunch of friends. A couple of whom hadn't had a chance to see this before, so it was wonderful. Big smiles, guys. There we go. How about them tigers? All right, so this afternoon I'm going into kind of an interesting hunt. I've got uh, ducks that'll show up early and then some snows that are coming a little bit later. So obviously I use the uh, lucky ducks for the ducks and you know you just put those out. We put them between 18 and 22 yards. They finish, close the deal, easy shot for the hunters. So as much as the lucky ducks attract ducks as well, they actually allow us to position the birds perfectly so the hunters can actually make these effective clean kills, right? So I mean even the best ammo, if the birds are too far, A, they can't hit them and then you get beyond the effective range. The luckies allow us to present a shot clean and close, and then you, you get to, the hunters get some just great shots. The other thing we use, and, and the trickiest of, of most of the geese to actually lure within gunning range, are the snow geese. And clone decoys has come out with what I think is just an absolute beast of a secret weapon. Uh, we'll put anywhere from four to eight of these out. They just sit, they flop, they look natural. I like to put them right in the hole. 15 or 20 yards out in front of us, and then you know those birds are sitting there looking at something that's moving. Instead of using a flag where they're actually looking at you, now they're the clones are sitting there doing their job in the hole, and the birds are looking at those. So I mean, it's always a good idea to add motion to your spread. These things do two things: they add motion, and they the, the birds look or attention away from you, and they work. And that's what I'm using tonight. You know, as usual this morning, we shot all our specs, which is good. Brad and Mel nailed it, and 
shot a few Canadas. And they need 23 ducks. And although we had a duck hunt where we could have gone and shot 23 ducks, this might have enough ducks to get it done. But there's a whole bunch of snows, a few little Canadas, lots of specs. So they should get a good show no matter what. Even if we kill 10 ducks in a bunch of snows, it's still better than just going to shoot 23 ducks. And then, you know, it just, it's in the afternoon. We got lots of time set up. The wind's blowing. It's a good afternoon. So we're putting out, ah, I got about 550 socks and about 700 of the band collector decoys. And we're just going to take it from there, you know, and I'll put out uh, four clones or three clones, two e-callers. We'll take it from there and see how it goes. You know, if the wind's supposed to stay with us, uh, if the lake goes a little bit flat, it would be better, but play with the cards we've been dealt. Should be good. Fingers crossed. I'll let you know at about 7.30. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go, in the hole. Boys, shoot them all. Nice. Okay, reload quick, reload quick. <laughs> it's gonna get ugly, boys. Shoot them, shoot them. You boys can shoot. Are you kidding? You guys killed seven. Here we go, guys. <laughs> roll them, guys. Roll them, roll them. Oh boy, that was a lot. That was nice shooting, boys. Woo! <laughs> Kill those ducks, guys. Oh my god, you got them all? Nice! Okay, what's the bad news? No more ducks. Let's do a quick duck, a duck pick up, real quick, guys. The snows we're seeing something, although hard to believe because the ducks and the speckle bellies just ate us up. You know, I mean, we could have killed 100 specks tonight, and we couldn't kill any. And you know what? The other option for these guys was to take them on just a duck hunt. Well, they shot their ducks and got a great spectacle, really, and uh, got to shoot some snows, and uh, hopefully we'll shoot a few more yet. Okay, hang on, there's more coming. Get down, cover up, be ready. Let's get these snows in the hole. Two more. Oh my God, look what's happening here. Let's see what we got. Real careful. And it's straight up. Hold tight. Okay, straight up, guys. Kill those. You can kill them. Get out and touch them. We had to shoot because they were starting to stack behind us. Good, that's good. They instantly started pulling those geese over. Pretty rare we get this many specks messing up the snows, I'll tell you what. Hey guys, you're gonna have to. Okay, out front, no out front. Hold tight, hold tight. Okay guys, kill those, kill those, right there, right there. All right, reload real quick. Lots of chaos. There's just so many birds. Oh my God. Reload, reload. 
Now we'll get some singles and doubles and lots more to come too yet. That was just a mess. Kill him guys, kill the three. Nice. Damn, those ones made us work for them, huh? All right, so today was kind of interesting. You know, the guys needed 23 ducks to finish. They shot all their specs in the morning. So I had a big snow speck hunt with some ducks on it. I thought, ah, we might be able to scratch a few ducks out of it. Well, the ducks ate us up. We had our ducks done before we saw a goose. And then, uh, and then the specks ate us up all night. And the snows didn't really like us. So I don't know, they stayed high. So whether those were ones that hadn't fed here and the ones that fed here migrated, I mean, who knows, your guess is as good as mine, you know, but uh, ended up well, you know, they ended up with a duck hunt with a bonus uh, bunch of snows. I think they're happy, I'm happy, and that's hunting and that's what keeps us out here doing this, right? Hunters brought me some speckabelly, so we're cooking hunt of the day. It will be complemented with roasted asparagus and roasted potatoes, fried onions and mushrooms, corn on the cob from the local farm, and homemade barbecue sauce. And also, I have hit of the night for them. It's New York strip loin, which was slowly cooking for 20 hours. And to top it all off, I made for them strawberry shortcake. It will be wonderful dinner. Cool. Did we see some ducks tonight? Yep. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we did, yeah. Well, guys, enjoy. Cheers. I'm going to grab a plate. Cheers. I should grab myself a cocktail is what I should do. Okay? Right on. Good. Awesome.